Welcome back to Flowworks and you join me back in the studio and before we start painting this week let's have a quick recap on last week's video this is how it turned out and dried really love the colours on this one and as I say last week the sort of painting fell off the wall and marked the painting but I think it adds to that abstract look I'm really into sort of painting square paintings at the minute nice big square paintings so we're going to take this one down we've got a new blank canvas behind that one let's get started <laughs> Same principle as the last videos, we taped off a square canvas and I've done my horizon line higher this time. So yeah, things are gonna be a little bit different with this one. Well, I've pre-mixed up some paint and I've added the flow troll and we're going in straight away the very top. It looks as though I washed my brush but I didn't get all the water out of it and it's just dripped absolutely everywhere. But that's all right, I'm having fun. So on this one, I wanted the top section to be not so much broken up, a bit more of a solid color. And then we'll work on the texture and the different depths as we go further down the canvas. Right, nice and quick, got that paint and that top section it might look on camera as though it's one colour but there are slightly different colours coming through there's a bit of yellow in the middle some hints of blue different tones of blue blow just want to feed in just ever so slightly a bit more white than this bottom section as I say I want to try and keep this top section this time a little bit more blended but I do like that white in there so let's just go a bit more in the middle okay and coming off with the tape on that horizon line I'm just switching up the colour of the slightly. So I've gone, I've mixed in slightly different darker blue, and in with that blue, I've put in some burnt umber as well, and also some yellow. So let's feed this in. really wanted to pick up on a lot of white there in the middle just feed that out Paint is beginning to thicken up, so I'm just adding in a bit of flow troll, really to sort of help that paint move. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want another gentleman, no I want the one who been hustling 
Diamonds in your car, yeah, I like that shit Dancing down the FDR, yeah, I like that You were top floor on your elevator shit That's why I need a five-star New York guy Okay, I've got the majority of the paint on there now. I want to work on this sort of side section a little bit more. Absolutely love the colour combination around this area. Not so keen on this, and I think it is the, the blue is a little bit too heavy. Okay, so I'm going to feed in this colour. I've mixed up some burnt umber, some yellow, and some blue again, and this should really sort of bring this back in. Tone it down. Stepping back, I love this now. This where it's got that depth of colour in there. It's really cool. Let's try and create a little bit more of that. So. Lighten this bit up down here. Okay, I'm going to apply the same type of effect down into this corner as well. A little bit too heavy there with the colour. Go back over that with some white. Okay, it's starting to take shape. I now want to feed in some, some white sections up here. So just the edge of the brush, bring it in. And they can be quite heavy as well. We're at the final stages of this painting. As I say, last week's video accidentally fell down and it created some really, really cool marks. I'm gonna try and recreate them marks and we're gonna use a squeegee. So I'm gonna pick up on some of that paint. I'm gonna apply it to the squeegee tip. And some of the cool marks that I liked were just some, just some random vertical white marks on there, which are pretty cool. So. Uh, I can't shake it just like a dog in the heat. This feeling the mind probably resides deep as the sea. I'm leaving tomorrow morning soon as the sun coming up. Drop my bags at the front door, screaming like what the fuck? I'm needing you now, not giving up now. Treat you like Valentine, taking this heart of mine for granted. Said we was never going down. Now I'm singing on the Titanic. She said it's gonna be the panic. I'm just loading that tip up with paint in all the different colours and then I'm gently pushing against the canvas. And there it is, I'm actually over the moon with this one. I love the colours, I love this sort of dark area section and adding those additional sort of white marks at the end I think really sort of sets this piece apart. So rather than going too abstract on this one as per the other two, I kept this one more of sort of a seascape and kept that sort of sky in there. And that was really easy to sort of do that sky, you saw that at the very start of the video. So this is something that you can do back at home. It wasn't that difficult. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this one. Please like and subscribe. Push that bell notification every single Wednesday at 8 p.m. I release a new painting. Please also place your comments down below what you think of this one. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down so I can sort of gauge if you like this one or not. I would definitely be giving this one a thumbs up so I'll be sort of clicking that little thumbs up button myself. If you want to get your hands on this original piece, website's going to be up and running soon where you can buy this original. And also we will be doing a limited edition number of prints and they will be professionally printed and signed by myself. So yeah, you, you got your chance to sort of grab hold of one of these. And with that, thank you very much for sticking around to the end of this video. Have a great week and I'll look forward to seeing you in next week's Flowworks. Yeah, we can.